over an hour on hold this morning on the phone to the tax office to try and work out what our liabilities are and what we can and can't do with the VAT on the barns. I said to the missus this morning, she's going through budgets to know what we've spent, what we've got left, you know, what's available. And I said, well, we'll get the VAT back on the bar. And she goes, mm, I don't know if you will. And I said, what? She goes, capital expense, rules and regulations. Apparently there's lots and lots of rules. Um, you might not get it all back. You might only get it back on, say, 70% or something. And I'm going, I hadn't allowed for that. I presumed we'd get the VAT back on all of it. Maybe not, she said. So yeah, rang the tax office. Apparently we can, provided the buildings are just for agriculture and nothing else, which is fair enough because that's what they're for. They're not for anything else. Not a great way to start the day, so. Um, and yeah, we had a couple of little packages today. One arrived first thing this morning from, I have no idea who from, and when I unwrapped it, I didn't have a clue, clue actually what it was, straight away. Then it did dawn on me because clip thing is a pen holder. So, which I presume you could clip on your tie or your pocket or lapel or whatever else. So, and of course I read the label and it said double pen or pencil holder with clip. Nurses, professionals and pilots. Yes. Pilots. Well, maybe I should give it to Chris. No. You coming in? And I've just been down to answer the door because we had a delivery. So something else has arrived. Which I have no idea what that is. It's another jar. Another jar of stuff. Chili pickle. Ooh. Hey? Oh, well, I will eat the whole thing in one go. Chili pickle. Looks like piccadilly. Hmm. I, I have no idea who that's from, but I'll look forward to trying that out. Thank you very much indeed. What's that on the back of there? Um, Gita? Gita's. Premium chili pickle. Hot. Hot. Mm. Spoon for that or something, isn't it? Right, thank you very much indeed. Whoever sent that, that will go in the cupboard. Mm. Probably go a bit gentle though, because of you know, tummy. Right. It's quite exciting to find something useful to do. Eh? Hey? It was um, premium chili pickle. I don't really think it's something you would want. No. <laughs> but it's something I would like. Mrs. P doesn't like mustard, horseradish, Spice. mustard, spicy, spicy, anything like that. Whereas I do. So. Did you yeah, she's been it, yeah. She was outside grumbling at the pups earlier, so. Okay, right. Go see what the guys are doing. Right, it's quarter past three. Um, Martin's finished early, so we're going to do a little job for my neighbours out of the kindness of my art. Honest. If you look over yonder, you'll see a load of trees. That's the remains of our old tree nursery that we had years ago out there. Uh, when we ceased growing trees for a nursery and selling them on, we kept a screen there between us and our neighbours. Basically, 
our neighbours didn't want to look at a scruffy old farmyard. Um, so we, we said we'd let the trees grow up a little bit. But obviously they do grow. So every couple of years we take the top out. Uh, we've had a magpie and a pigeon nesting in there for the last few weeks, not been able to do it. But it appears everything has gone. So Martin's going to start taking the tops out of those trees there. Uh, we can get to both sides of them so we can do it all off the cherry picker. And I am going to go and cut the grass on the far side so when he gets to that bit, it's just easier to clear up. Just makes life easier. I just needed to warm up a little bit. A bit cruel to drive that thing from a cold engine. Warm in here. It's actually in our own interest as well as the neighbours to keep the tops out of these trees because it keeps them bushy and covered lower down. If we let them go up, they'll become very oppressive to them. Even though they're on the north bank with me neighbours, it will be oppressive. Um, and they'll just die in the bottom, which we cater for their pointless. There was nothing to keep them so. He's up with that. We'll crack on with this.
Oh, roughly the same height as last time, whatever they were last time, about the same. I don't want them to go much higher than they were last time. A what nest? I'll be a, no, it won't be a rook, I'll be a magpie. Yeah. Yeah, magpie, got a roof on it. Yeah. Hey? Nothing in there, is there? Yeah, I, I get nice and open arch, I think that one's collapsed. Yeah, <laughs> there's plenty of magpies about, that's for sure. That's only an old goat willow in there, isn't it? Yeah, well you can get him, give him a good bashing if you want. Right, well, I ain't got to tell him what to do because he's more than capable, he knows exactly what he's doing. I'll put this thing away. I will just straighten you out a bit. And while I'm at it, put you back. Trees and tractors, they don't really get on. Right, you can go back in there, I know where you are. It took 10 minutes, but if I was to do that with a strimmer, it would take 20 times longer and have a little pick up too. So, I think we're gonna have to do the edge of that hedge as well. So, I think maybe when I got the flail on, if I can get around there, um, I have to be careful because neighbor's BT cable is so low, I can't go around even with the flail picked up as in packed away because it'll catch the cable. I know that because I've hit it down before, so. I'll just be wary this thing. Okay. That's that done. That's actually a nice quite little job from up there. Don't need chainsaws, don't need any power equipment. You can just go on gently with a hand, hand kit and prune away to his heart's content. Okay, so the seat. We had a look at uh, maybe replacing our slightly damaged old wet seat with this new one that James from Tepri sent us. Thank you, James, very kind of you. Um, but unfortunately the mounting holes for this and the existing are different. This is actually quite a bit smaller, if I demonstrate. Quite a bit smaller than that one, and the holes don't light up, they're different. And although I could drill holes in things and maybe fit it across, I think for the amount of effort it would require to do this just for a dry bum, although it'd probably make an interesting video of me cussing and swearing trying to line stuff up um, to be honest it's not really worth replacing the seat just for a wet bum when I have the option especially now with more buildings I have the option of parking it under cover and I don't have to drive it in the rain and I could put a plastic bag over it so so thank you very much indeed James uh, we will keep the seat by um, it, it would it would fit the um, crane on the, the crane seat on the shredder if that one goes I mean that one just tends to spend a bit more time outside or a bit more exposed or did of course now we've got a barn that can live indoors as well I don't know for the time being though this is going to go back in the bag back in the box we'll keep it safe um, I don't know it's here if I need a seat on something we've got a seat so 
But James, thank you very much. It was a really, really kind thought. Uh, very generous of you, but I think just this time, I don't think it's going to happen. So. nest but it was vacant um, I think it'd be dead for some time my brother-in-law called me earlier and asked if I could help out one of his nurses with um, a wasp nest in a house she just moved into so I was, of course I said I would so I've just been down to see her um, somebody has been in I think a plumber had been in and he started lifting the floorboards and come across this nest and basically ran away um, he didn't like wasps so um, she called me in to come and deal with the wasp nest so he can come back. Anyway, turned up, um, had a look outside of where they would have been going in, which would have been an air brick, and I could see signs of an old dusting, but it was covered in cobwebs as well and there was no activity. So I went back indoors, um, and while she peered over my shoulder, I lifted the floorboards, and lo and behold, there was a nest. Normally with a nest like that, it was the size of a well, one and a half times a rugby ball, I suppose, or a decent sized nest, there would be wasps crawling all over it. And if I'd lifted the floorboards and they were there, they would probably have come out to investigate what on earth was going on. Nothing. So uh, just to make sure that um, she was satisfied the nest was dead, I, I basically destroyed it, stuck my knife in it and pulled it apart. So I said, the plumber can now come back. Um, and that was it really. Uh, she tried to pay me, I said no. Uh, she works for the NHS. Um, she's an outward bound nurse helping folks, disabled folks like my brother-in-law out and about. Um, I said thank you for your service and thank you for helping my brother-in-law and there will be no charge. There was, I didn't use any product, it was just a bit of time so, and I could afford a bit of time. Um, there you go. She just moved into a new house, got kids and everything else. I think she could have made better use of the 40 quid than me. So, Right, back home now, it's 10 to 5. I promised to be home by 10 to 5 because we are interviewing another young man today for the position of either trainee or apprentice. So I need to go and tidy myself up a bit. Can't do an interview, but I could. But I'm not going to do an interview like this. Hey, you all right? Yeah. We're home. <laughs>